Also developing, troopers are looking for two people who ran out of a car after hitting a motorized scooter, killing an 18-year-old. A 16-year-old girl was also hurt in this. This was the scene last night on Chickasaw Trail at the 408 exit ramp in Orange County. As News 6's Mark Lehman shows us, troopers already have some clues in the search. The Florida Highway Patrol says they've already received several tips. They're hoping will point them in the direction of who's responsible for the deadly crash. This coming after investigators say the driver and passenger fled the scene, leaving their car behind. That is the biggest part of these hit and run fatal crashes is if we can get the vehicle, we're halfway there. It's a big clue FHP says will be key in solving a deadly hit and run. This car found abandoned after troopers say it hit two teens who were riding a motorized scooter on Chickasaw Trail near the State Road 408 exit. Witnesses say as it came down the ramp at a very high rate of speed, it ran the red light and struck the scooter as it was traveling southbound on Chickasaw through the green light. The two riders were ejected, the impact killing an 18-year-old man and leaving a 16-year-old girl critically hurt. Seconds later, witnesses say the two people inside the car took off running. We're able to, sh to tell us that two people ran from the scene, but it was dark and chaotic. They just weren't able to say and give us a full description. Troopers say the two were tracked to a nearby apartment complex but haven't been seen since. Now the focus turns to analyzing evidence from the vehicle, this coming in an attempt to track down the driver and passenger who are now facing several charges. You know, you're just adding minimum of four years onto your sentence mm -hmm. for whatever reason that you've left. Investigators say a gun was recovered from the vehicle and they tell us they're now working to track down the owner of both. Meanwhile, troopers are also in the process of gathering surveillance video from the area of the crash. In the newsroom, Mark Lehman getting results, News 6.